Hey, it's Hunt. You found Hunt on Saints. We're talking black and gold football. Do us a favor. Hit the like button, share your comments below, and hit that subscription button so you can get all of our content. Enjoy. But let's talk about the Saints and the Chiefs. Look, it's a first preseason game. So what are you going to draw from it? Nothing massively important unless a star on your team goes down for the year. That's really the only Im massively impactful thing that can happen in a first preseason game. But that being said, if we're going to understand the emphasis that we're putting on this game, which is very little, I thought it went great. I thought it went great for New Orleans. I thought Derek Carr went out there, piloted an efficient drive. It wasn't like they, they, they hit one big play and that was a drive. It was a, a methodical 11-play drive that had some chunk plays, had some running plays, hit Michael Thomas, hit Camaro on a screen. Like It all looked good on that first drive with David Carr, and it finished with a really nice throw for a touchdown to Kirkwood, which we'll talk about receivers in a second, but I thought that that drive was excellent uh, for New Orleans. The bad side of what goes on a little bit later in the game is that Kendra Miller has been diagnosed with, with a strain in his knee. And... Running back just went from a little thin to like a dire need now because Kamara's out and Miller's going to miss a week or two and it's the same knee that was hurt at TCU and that worries me. Really, it does. Um, you know, Benjamin's gone for the year with the Achilles. So right now you're kind of leaning on on Williams and then you've got Ellis Merriweather who had the touchdown at the end. Um, rookie out of UMass. Do you want to put a lot on his plate? Probably not. So they're going to bring in Daryl Williams, a former Tiger, former Eric, uh standout, to, to to take a look. I would like that signing as well. I'm still on board if they want to bring Kareem Hunt back. Like, but they got to do something because they don't have. You can't put Kirk Merritt out there, even though he's hurt right now too. That's not the answer. So they got serious issues at running back. Now the good news is that running back is the most fixable problem out there. There are probably more running backs than any position you can find out there. There's a lot of receivers. A lot of DBs, because they're just, quite frankly, are a lot of six foot one, two hundred pound guys that can run fast. Like that's a pretty, pretty accessible commodity. So they got to find something at running back. Merriweather had nine carries for twenty four yards. Also had the catch for the touchdown. We know they got to do something there at running back. That's that's important. Um, from what I saw, which is not the entire game, uh, I thought Trevor Penning looked okay. I didn't notice Trevor Penning. I don't know that he was playing at a Pro Bowl level. I know that he wasn't a turnstile. That was a big thing going into the game. What are you going to get from your left tackle who's kind of entering a second rookie year? I thought he was fine. And that's a good thing. I don't think the expectation is for Trevor Penning to make the Pro Bowl this year. I don't think the expectation is for him to be the first team all-pro left tackle. The expectation, if you're being real, is that Trevor Penning is a league average left tackle that has massive upside and grows into a great player. To expect him to be that in week one, at least that's not where I am. But I thought he was fine on Saturday. Speaking of high round draft picks, you're kind of waiting on. Zach Vaughn kind of showed up a little bit. I mean, the sack's going to be the most important thing, rushing the passer, but you did notice him on defense, where he's been mainly a special teams guy for a couple years. I, I liked what I saw from Zach Vaughn, a little... Little athleticism, little speed, little fire, and then making the big play to get to the passer. We know how big a deal running back is, and they've tried to address a little bit of that with Jalen Smith bringing him in, and you know what what DeMario is. Didn't play on Saturday. I, I liked what I saw from Zach Vaughn. I thought that was very good. And then Kamara and Michael Thomas looked like Kamara and Michael Thomas. Thomas makes the catch over the middle. Nice catch from Carr. Kamara looked exceptional on the screenplay, still had the burst, still has the patience, got the whole package. Now, he's going to have to sit for three games, but I thought that looked looked very good. And then you want to toss Jimmy Graham in there. You can, makes a makes a catch on the right side of the football field. Um, again, I don't know that I expect some sort of big year from Jimmy Graham, and I think it's odd that the Saints are going to carry four tight ends if that, in fact, becomes the case. But he's out there. He's happy to be here, and he, he made a catch. So the last point I want to make is that 
they got so many dudes at wide receiver. Like, so many dudes. that They all can't make the roster. Like, yeah, Olave, Thomas, and Shahid are in. We think Traquan Smith's going to make the roster. Kirkwood's been kind of a valuable piece to have around whether he bounced on the practice squad or active. A.T. Perry makes a touchdown catch. He's got a lot of skill. James Washington, they've added John Trey Kirkland. Like, this is just a crowded room. And if you're going to carry four tight ends, like, you, you've got to cut somewhere. And it just feels like wide receiver is going to be that spot where I think, you know, Ave, Thomas, Shahid, Traquan, and A.T. Perry, maybe? which would leave Keith Kirkwood on the outside looking in, would leave John Trey Kirkland on the outside looking in, would leave maybe James Washington on the outside looking in. Eh. It's a great problem to have. I, I, I love the problem. I think you've got the high-end guys. I think Olave is star, prime for a, break, a star season. Thomas looks healthy. Perry's got ridiculous upside. Like, maybe you do tell Trey Kwan that it's, it's been fun. I know a guy that has a show for three hours after me that would probably say that. But when you've got Juwan Johnson out there making plays and catching passes and you feel like Jimmy Graham is a, a pass-catching option that's going to line up off the line of scrimmage a lot when he's in the game. There's only so many, so many pass catchers you can have. And so when they go down the field in the first drive and I'm thinking I've got the starters out there and Keith Kirkwood makes the first touchdown catch, I'm going, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, there are too many. Good play by Kirkwood. Good job by the Saints evaluating talent and bringing it in. But it just feels a little bit bloated out there when we're talking about getting it down to 53. You know, they got time. We got another game to play this weekend, another game to play the following weekend. We got, we got time. And it's, again, a great problem to have, but you've got not enough running backs and too many wide receivers. But again, I thought the Saints um, looked great for the first 20, 20 plus minutes of playing time. Jump out to that 17 nothing. Defense playing good. Offense looks crisp. Got a little sloppy late. Hayner was okay through the pick. and it, yeah, you, got, you got beat a little bit late. But come up with a huge interception and rookie. Comes in and knocks a field goal through. Saints win and the Saints cover. So if you're a degenerate who had money on the Saints in a preseason game, one and a half is what you were laying. You got a two-point win, you cashed. But again, you can go through each individual thing. Big picture, I thought Sunday was a really nice win for the Saints. Hey, it's Hunt. Thanks for watching Hunt on Saints. Before you leave, help us out a little bit. Hit that like button, leave your comments in the section below, and hit that subscribe button. You get all our content right here from Hunt on Saints. We'll see you next time.